Hello, I am the Red Monk, and this is the solo boss guide to the Queen's Knight Reborn in Code Vein. And he's a pretty quick boss, he's pretty tough. So for the equipment, we want to have a fast swinging weapon. Just because you don't have a whole lot of, you know, frames to counterattack, because he's pretty, he's pretty damn fast. And for armor, we want to have something really, really light, because most of his attacks we're going to get away from them by dodging. We use a lot of dodging, so if you have light armor, you'll get more uh, invincibility frames, which are very important. And he has drain for the most difficult part of the boss. His second phase, he gets drain. So all of your, you know, you'll lose all your magic points. So you have to be reliant on your sword for the most difficult part of the boss. So, you know, plan accordingly. Use a weapon in light armor. And we're going to start by buffing up. Start by buffing up. And you get a few free hits on him. But, you know, he attacks pretty quick. So don't overstay your welcome. Now, pretty standard dude in armor. Pretty standard dude in armor. We're going to dodge, you know, into his attacks. That thrust attack comes out pretty quick. So just dodge a little bit earlier than you think. And for healing, you want to do it uh, in response. Like wait for him to screw up and then you get your healing. Because if you just heal out of the blue, he'll attack you. So that was uh, phase one. It went by pretty quick. And he starts getting his uh, teleport attacks. You know, he's starting to do a teleport, which you pretty much have to uh, iframe because he comes down with an uh, area of an effect. So when he teleports directly above you, just roll any direction but get the invincibility frames. And when he teleports horizontally to you, you know, he still stays on the ground. You want to, if he does the swing attack where his wings come around, you want to roll into that. But if you see him start to do his thrust, you just want to roll horizontally. When he puts his shield up, uh, he'll parry you if you hit the shield. But if you hit him in the back, you have a whole lot of frames to counterattack. That green shit, that's the drain. So that's why it's important to just ignore it and fight with your sword. Because it takes up most of the map. It takes up most of the map. So just... Just fight him with your sword from now on. See, if you roll into his attack, the opening to roll into him is a lot shorter than to roll away from him. But you get more uh, time to counterattack because you don't have to move back towards him. Now, for his uh, thrust attack, he does a spin where he ends up. So you have to see the distance where he stops his spin. And just stay out of that distance. Always stay kind of close to him. Because if you end up that far away from him. And he does his uh, thrust attack. And you end up right where he stops. It'll hit you. So hit him with a point down. You got a point down after you beat him. So it's a pretty standard dude in armor. Just make sure you, you know dodge the attacks. Roll into them. And just... Always make sure when he teleports above you, uh, dodge with the invincibility frame. When he teleports horizontally to you, he stays on the ground. You either have to roll into the attack or away from it if it's the spinner attack. And if he's doing the thrust, you just roll perpendicular to the thrust. And when he does his thrust where he ends up, it's a certain preset distance where that attack stops. He does a spin attack. So stay out of that range because it's pretty much impossible to dodge that attack. It's incredibly difficult. So yeah, that was a boss. This is not a gaming channel, but uh, I thought it would be cool to make a boss guide to this boss. Anyways, yeah, peace out.